Hello everybody, Tony Bears here again. For a while now, I've been talking about how I think that The Dark Knight Rises has miscast the roles of Catwoman and Bane. And in this video, I'm going to give my opinion of who I think should play those parts. Choosing to cast Anne Hathaway as Catwoman and Tom Hardy as Bane is almost as bad as the casting of Rosie O'Donnell as Betty Rubble. Now for my picks, let's first start off with Catwoman. Now the reason I don't like Anne Hathaway as Catwoman is I feel that she is too much of a goody two-shoes in most of her movies. She has that girl next door look to her. She has a very Julia Roberts quality to her. In fact, I think Anne Hathaway looks a lot like Julia Roberts. Here's a picture of her and Julia Roberts together. Now tell me they don't look exactly alike. I swear they should do a movie together where they play mother and daughter. They'd be perfect together for that. Now I don't think that anyone would choose to cast Julia Roberts as Catwoman, so that's why I don't think that Anne Hathaway would be a good Catwoman. She just doesn't seem right for the part. Catwoman is this sexy bad girl and I just don't see that from Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway doesn't have that edge that you need for Catwoman. Also she doesn't have a voluptuous figure which Catwoman needs. Now when I first thought about who should play Catwoman I thought of Catwoman Catherine Zeta-Jones. She would be perfect for Catwoman if they made this movie 10 years ago. Unfortunately, she's too old. She has the perfect look for Catwoman. She has a great figure. She has the sexiness and the edge that you need for a character like Catwoman. Also, she played a cat burglar in Entrapment, and she looked damn good doing it. The second woman I thought about was Gemma Artarton. She is just plain gorgeous, and she also has a beautiful voice that's very sexy and sultry that is perfect for Catwoman. But I thought Gemma Artarton is too young. Then I thought about Christina Hendricks. Now she has this terrific voluptuous figure which Anne Hathaway does not have and a very sexy look to her which would be perfect for Catwoman because Catwoman uses her sexuality. But Christina Hendricks doesn't quite have that bad girl edge. Then I thought about Carla Eugenio. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. She is also very sexy and voluptuous. Although I found out that again, just like Catherine Zeta-Jones, she's a little too old. At this point, Christina Hendricks was at the top of my list to play Catwoman. But then I talked to my friend Lupe and he gave me a few suggestions. He suggested Megan Fox. And I thought to myself, yeah, she's attractive, uh, she's actually very hot, but the movies I've seen her in, she's not a very good actress. Also, just like Gemma Artarton, she's a little too young for the part. Then Lupe suggested Jessica Biel, who is very gorgeous and very sexy, and in fact she wore a Catwoman type costume in Chuck and Larry, and she looked great in it, but I don't know, I just didn't see her as Catwoman. Like I said, for some of these other ones, she doesn't quite have enough edge to be Catwoman. Then Lupe suggested Elijah Dushku. Then I thought, Lupe man, you just hit the nail right on the head. Elijah Dushku. She's perfect. I don't know why I didn't think about her before, but she is perfect for Catwoman. She's attractive. She's got a nice figure. She's a good actress. She's sexy. And she's done physical roles before. She has a bad girl edge to to her like she'd kick your butt if you looked at her wrong she's got that look to her like she could just kick anyone's butt that she could snap and just beat up everyone in the place she's just got that attitude to her which is perfect for Catwoman and besides all that she just got done playing Catwoman in DC's directed DVD Batman year one which she was great as Catwoman like I said before I can't believe I never thought of her before but she's perfect she has everything that Catwoman needs after thinking about it I can't think of anyone better than Elijah Dushku to play Catwoman now I think that a bunch of people are gonna disagree with me but I believe she would be a better fit than Anne Hathaway now I haven't seen Dark Knight Rises yet so I don't know perhaps Anne Hathaway can blow me away and in which case I will make another video and I will admit that I was wrong but so far 
If I was casting Catwoman in Dark Knight Rises, I would choose Elijah Dushku. That's my choice. Now, on to Bane. Tom Hardy, I think, is a worse choice for Bane than Anne Hathaway is for Catwoman. I think he's just totally wrong. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but that's my opinion. And there's two big reasons I say this. One, Bane is a Hispanic character, and Tom Hardy is clearly not Hispanic. Two, I don't think he's big enough to be Bane. Now, a lot of people say, well, he's a pretty big guy. He's big, he's built, but he's not the size that Bane should be. Now, I looked up Tom Hardy on IMDb, and I found out that he is 5 foot 10. And then I looked up Christian Bale and found out that he's 6 foot tall. Tom Hardy is shorter than Christian Bale. Let me say that again. Bane is shorter than Batman. Now that's just sad. Bane should not be shorter than Batman. That's It's ridiculous. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of the Bane character. The point of Bane is he's supposed to be a very intimidating villain. He's supposed to be a villain that you look at and you think there is no way that Batman can beat this guy because he is so outmatched because he is so much bigger than Batman and he is just as smart as Batman. That's what makes Bane such a great villain for Batman. Some people will say, well, he's not that much shorter than Christian Bale. Well, then you add the height of the Batman airs when Christian Bale puts on the Batman uniform, he is at least six inches taller than Tom Hardy. And that is ridiculous in my opinion. I also found out from IMDB that Anne Hathaway is 5'8". That's pretty tall for a woman. As we can tell from pictures that we've seen of the Catwoman costume, the Catwoman costume has high heels and those cat ears. I'm not sure how high those high heels are, but they look pretty high. So I figure being 5'8", and with those heels and those cat ears, she has got to be taller than Bane. So let me say that again. Even Catwoman is taller than Bane. Now that is just plain ridiculous. Now I've said before that if I was casting the part of Bane, I would use two actors. Much like they did for Darth Vader in the Star Wars movies, using one actor to be the physical form of the character and another actor dubbing over the voice. Just like Darth Vader where David Prowse did the physical performance of Darth Vader where James Earl Jones did the voiceover for Darth Vader. Now for the physical form of Bane I choose Dolph Singa. I know I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong but he's better known as the Great Kali. He's a professional wrestler. Now as I said before Bane is a Hispanic character and the Great Kali is not Hispanic he is Indian. Now being Indian he still has darker skin than a Caucasian so uh, you could believe that he is Hispanic. He's much more believable being Hispanic than what Tom Hardy is. Now, the Great Kali is 7 foot 2 inches, 387 pounds. Now, that is an intimidating person. I could see him picking up Batman and breaking his back easily. Tom Hardy, I don't think he could lift Christian Bale, let alone break his back. Now, if you look at this guy, he's... I hate to say it because I don't want him to actually hear this. He'll probably kick my butt, but he's a pretty ugly looking dude. Fortunately, the character of Bane wears a mask most of the time, so that won't be a problem and with a mask you won't see his mouth move so when his voice is dubbed it'll be easier to believe that it is the other person's voice because you won't see his mouth move the person I chose to voice Bane is Antonio Banderas he has a great Spanish accent and he has a very cool voice which he can sound very intelligent which is what you need to play Bane so that is my cast for the Dark Night Rises. Thank you for watching. My name is Tony Beers and I'll see you next time.